Welcome, and following the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 2, and today I will show you how to go to the setup process of this device. And when you put it up for the first time, you should be presented with this screen that you can see right over here. So to get started, simply tap on the language right here, with the arrow, and find your desired language. So I will be obviously using English, which probably is right at the top. There we go, English. Select OK. And now we can go to the next page. And now this device does have uh, SIM card capability, so I don't know if there is actually an alternative to it without it. Uh, but if there is, you then won't see this page. Um, now I'm not planning to insert the SIM card, so I'm just going to select next anyway and kind of, kind of skip this. Then on the next page we have obviously uh, things that no device can go without, which is end user license agreement. Uh, it doesn't, it's sad enough that you already paid them like a uh, decent amount for the device. You also need to agree to their terms of service now. So. Just to put that out there, uh, only the first one, the end user license agreement, is a requirement to be selected. The rest of them are optional, so you can just completely uh, disregard them and don't agree to them, those. And next page, we have uh, bring your all the data from a quick setup. So we have wireless cable. This is just a simple backup and a restore of a device through different methods. So if you have an old device, you can simply connect it using a cable and transfer it like that. You can do it wirelessly using Wi-Fi, uh, using a cable, and you can simply set it up without actually copying anything. And this brings us to the next page, which is the Wi-Fi connection. Now, again, this is an optional step right here. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to it. If you don't feel like doing this right now, or you don't have internet connection, you can simply skip this. By doing so, date and time won't be set automatically, so you will need to most likely fix this up. But um, later on, when you connect to network, it will also change the date and time automatically to a correct one. So anyway, on the next page, we have Google services. So we have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now. Obviously, you can tap on an arrow to expand what it, to read what it is. Uh, but the brief uh, version of this is location uh, allows things like, for instance, Google Maps to gain your uh, device's location, current location, to give you an accurate route, a destination if you're using this as a GPS tracking device. And uh, then below that, we have allow scanning, allows the device to simply scan for signals like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. And lastly, send user and diagnostic data is just a Google ways of uh, gathering data on you and having more information about you. Obviously, I don't like that, so I'm just gonna disable this one and go next page. So here we have the option to protect our device, and we actually have a couple of options to do it. Right, so we have face recognition, fingerprint, and then pin pattern or password. Now, I will note that the face recognition and or fingerprint, so you can use both of them or one of them, uh, will always require a pin pattern or password. So just a physical way of unlocking the device. That is, so if something happens to your fingerprint or, or your finger or your face, you still have a way to access your device without those. So obviously, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna stick with only the pattern right here. Uh, secure startup, uh, that is for the pattern. Um, pin password as well. Basically what it does is it requires you to put in your protection twice, once when the device is booting up, and then the second time once it boot, boots up you will need to unlock it to basically gain access to it. So I'm gonna stick with do not require. I consider this to be completely useless and more of an annoyance than any kind of feature. So anyway, from here we can draw our pattern, continue, and we draw it. And once you confirm it, it will be now set. Now this will bring us to the Samsung account. Now even though I am not logged into any kind of Wi-Fi, Samsung prompts me to log into their crap account. Uh, obviously I'm not going to do this. I have zero intentions of using their applications. They're just utter garbage and poor imitation of whatever else that Google already made. So I'm going to skip this. And obviously Samsung wants to uh, be very adamant on you not doing that because uh, give us your data. 
and here's a couple things that they try to, I don't know, persuade you with. So we have things like Samsung Cloud, because you know, uh, there. Just before I go in depth in all of those, uh, there is completely no alternative from Google to all of these. That is absolute sarcasm. So Samsung Cloud has a Google Cloud. Bixby has Hey, hey Google. Find My Device or Find My Mobile has Find My Device. Samsung Pass, uh, Google doesn't have a name for it, but it obviously allows you to save passwords in your Google account. Galaxy Store, the entirety of a Play Store that has way more apps than this crap. Uh, then uh, Secure Folder. Uh, I believe this might be the only option that Samsung has that might be original and if it's not, it's probably better just because they have this like max security kind of thingy thing. Uh, and lastly, we have uh, Samsung Internet. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like the, the last option. It's just like Microsoft flexing their uh, Explorer or Bing search. Why would I use this? So let's just skip. Uh, the last one was just a cherry. <laughs> and once you skip that crap, you actually are presented with uh, all done. So you can select finish and gain access to your home screen. Uh, now, as you've seen, uh, we did have an option to log into our Samsung account, even though we weren't connected to network. And normally if you connect to some kind of Wi-Fi or network, uh, you will also have a Google account uh, page to log into your Google account throughout the setup process. But obviously you can also do that later on uh, simply through going to settings. But anyway, this would conclude the setup of this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.